Hello guys, welcome to Hunt Day Herping, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of America's icons, the Carolina Anol. Okay guys, so we're going to talk a little bit about the Carolina Anol. The Carolina Anol is a small arboreal or tree climbing lizard. It's found primarily in the southeastern United States and some of the Caribbean islands. Um, some other common names include green anole, American anole, uh, the red-throated anole, and a lot of times is referred to as an American chameleon. They're not really chameleons, they're more closely related to iguanas than they are chameleons, but since they change colors, a lot of times they catch that name. Uh, the Carolina Anole is a small to medium sized lizard that has a very slender body. They have adhesive pads to facilitate climbing um, and they exhibit some sexual dimorphism. Uh, sexual dimorphism pretty much means that basically you can tell male from female just by their visual appearance. Uh, the males are larger, their head is larger, they have um, a red dewlap that is um, on their throat. Um, and the females are more petite and small in size. The Carolina Knolls basically mate from May through September. Um, the farther you move up north, the shorter their um, breeding time is. These little lizards uh, have a lot of diversity. They can be um, a solid color on the back. Some of them have a brown stripe that goes down their back. Some of them have a zipper type design that goes down their back. Uh, any lizard can have the stripes, uh, but I have noticed in my own personal observations that more females have the stripe than the males uh, in the areas that I look at. I'd like for you guys to leave me a comment if you have an old in your area. Do they all have stripes? Are most of them solid in color? So you can share some of that. Um, they're pretty cool little lizards. They feed on insects. The females lay an egg every three to four weeks during their breeding cycle. The eggs take three to four weeks to hatch. When the eggs hatch, the lizard's pretty much on their own, doing their own thing. One thing to take note about this particular animal is that the males can be very, very territorial and aggressive um, with other males. I've even seen them like try to like attack themselves you know, in a mirror, like, you know, they see the reflection. So they, a lot of times they'll display by bobbing their head, showing their dewlap. Uh, and if that doesn't work, they'll actually attack each other. So anyway, some pretty cool lizards. I was asked to do a, an annul synopsis. So I wanted to, to cover that. So guys, if you have any questions, you can leave something down in the comments, letting me know. And Guys, be kind to one another, be kind to the environment, always catch and release, and until next time, happy herping.